Churchill brothers before leaving the team hotel must have watched Gokulam's game and now an hour away from Kalyani into their team bus. One eye will be on this fixture hoping for a slip up from Nandakumar's otherwise flawless. Tidimbro uh, Athletic Union got to target. Here is Chencho on the loose ball. He's got Baba ahead of him. Chencho on his own. And that was very close. Just missing the target by a whisker. A sloppy defending from Tudim Road Athletic Union around last Punjab with a golden opportunity. Uh, this is the area where Chencho Diasaga takes it onto his favoured right foot. Two waiting in the middle. Vidya on his own. He's got Joseph on the right. A tame attempt falls for Comron and the flag has gone up on immediate basis. Another promising build up between the trio, Joseph, Vidya Sagar and Comron. Uh, that is the kind of damage uh, this trio is capable of doing. Uh, the deflect uh, to his tally and uh, not so uh, cleared away by Trow. Chance for Samad. It's a good shape on the ball. It just went over Baba. And the flag has gone up anyway. And that was the cross from Samad Ali Malik. He held a Lobato very intelligent. Have any foreign defender in their team? Is Betia. Lovely exchange for Pritam. In comes the cross. Uh, went over everybody. Uh, this is the area where Pritam Singh Nintojam got to improve time and again. His crosses uh, are pretty disappointing so far uh, within the first 21 minutes. Shahbaz Khan. Here is Kamran. He's darting in behind. Still with Kamran. A brilliant save again by Kiran Chemjong. Super save number 17 by the Nepalese international. He's just like he's got a magnet on his gloves, always attracting the ball towards himself. Sharply down by the Nepalese international. And Comron Tursunov was clearly through on goal. Back to Betia. He's a Kasagwan through the middle. Between the lines for Telemasurunjit Singh. He's got Oh, his shot coming off the post. And it was a long range try from Telem Suranjit. Just dropping in front of the goalkeeper. Baba waiting in the middle. Picks out Vikram Jeet instead. Vikram Jeet cross from deep. A mistimed clearance. And Sabas Khan. Uh, just not getting the right connection on the ball. Completely mistimed that clearance. That could have gone anyway. Off guard in a couple of occasions. Here comes the ball in. Kept in by Pritam. Header from Diawara. Just over. He couldn't adjust his body. A lovely little ball from Pritam. Just finding the head of Diawara. And the break is on here. Here is Pritam. Plenty of space down the middle. He's got Chencho outside him. Pritam on his own. Saved by Amrit Gope. Both the goalkeepers, in fact, had a busy half so far. In the first half, even though both the teams had a couple of glorious opportunities to trouble the scoreline. Allowing Betia. A round glass Punjab on the breakaway move. Pritam Ning Tojam goes past Shahbaz. In it comes Baba Diawara. Chance for Chencho from a narrow angle. Again, the Bhutanis makes a mess of it. Another chance goes begging for round glass Punjab. Even though the angle uh, was acute, but he could have done much better. Uh, just that first touch. Fence. Nodded into the path of Comron. Another chipped pass. Looking for Joseph. Vidya on the end of it. Still chance for Joseph on the turn. Again it's gone over. Couldn't adjust his feet well enough. The Nigerian. And there it is. Irshad came in the way. 
just blocking his vision to win the aerial challenges. Is Betia almost finding Papa? And the flag has gone up. And Muhammad Irshad was the man flagged offside. And if the match ends this way, the Churchill brothers will be absolutely up for their efforts. Betia this time, outswing floater. A header from Mohammed Irshad blazed over the bar. Ruiva Homipam was the man. And there it is, an outswing floater, nicely cushioned. And Mohammed Irshad winning those 50 50 eventually inside the attacking area. Here is Kansham Falguni on his weak left side. An easy take by Kiran Chemjong in goal from Trao FC. Uh, that shot had direction, the power was lacking. Goalless Betia could height on this one. Again away, back in from Sovik towards Chencho. He's got Naresh behind him and Ruiva Homipam for support. Homipam asking for it. Chencho finds Suranjit instead. Back inside, Babakar brings it down. Babakar on the turn. And the flag has gone up. Papa Babakar is offside. Just got to be on the line. A very important uh, for a striker to maintain that line at the back. Uh, cleverly done there by Trau FC defence from absolute nowhere. Here goes Betia towards the far post, knock back. He's gone out of play. Ruiva Homipom just not getting the right kind of connection to nod it into the central region for Babakar Diawara who was lurking behind Helder. Somewhat getting predictable by Trau. Here is Joseph. He's got Sagwan for company. Joseph scooped it towards the far post. And Chancellor Horam just not been able to keep that in play. And that is the kind of speed this Nigerian possesses. A sudden acceleration punished by Shabazz. Now Vidya Sagar is shaping up for a long shot, way off target. A bit of a shellfish play from the striker. As I think Komran Tursunov was in a better position. And there it is. Chancellor Horam was also unmarked on the left channel. That pass in the gap. And now Komran, he could be through on goal. Still Komran Tursunov brought down. Is that a foul? But nothing, and now the referee has blown the whistle and awarded a free kick just outside the box. Even though a replay can clear doubt, he played advantage initially. A referee uh, then pulled black play and a red card for Mohammad Irshad inside the D box, in fact. Just half an inch inside, and that could have been. And this was the incident. And Tatum Road Athletic Union are putting up a strong wall. Comron goes for goal! Majestic, monumental and mercurial. And it has come from a man who is involved in a goal every hour. And that is why he is the main man. A remarkable rise marked by a remarkable goal. Having a remarkable season. Comron Tursunov, what a player. And that was a pile driver just rippling the net. And Kiran Chemjong in goal had no chance whatsoever to get somewhere near to the ball. That he is up against Kiran Chemjong. Comron cuts inside. The loose ball can fall for Joseph. Still with Comron. In comes the shot. And a deflection from a round glass Punjab defender in the end. And this was the incident. A slight deflection from Ruiva. Chencho stick. Another brilliant goalkeeping from Amri. Out wide for Chencho with his left foot. Good curl on that cross. Around glass Punjab short chasing it from the opposite side. Back nodded back in the area. A bit of a confusion. Now before Amri go. This was the cross nodded in from the opposite flank. 
Rashid Shah just heading on to Hilda Lubato. And now, here is Joseph. Pokes it forward for Komran Tursunov. He's got space to burn few calories. Cuts it back for Joseph. Oh, a weak left footer. Built up but down that right channel by Komran Tursunov. Completely exploiting Akas Sagu. And now Joseph, he can burst through. Komran from a tight area and almost the ball changing its direction from free kick in the 81st minute of the match and with this with the match stats around glass Punjab with maximum possession as it has happened so many times in the hero I league teams sharing